Hi, I'm Richard from Early Retirement Wonderlust, and I am about to embark on the 80 mile trek along the Dales Way as part of bringing some challenge into my early retirement life. So if you're new to our channel, just a little bit of background. We early retired as a couple at the age of 51 and we sold the family home. We relocated to the Yorkshire Dales. We took on a renovation project and renovated our cottage to how it is today for our forever retirement home. And we have taken it upon ourselves to make sure that our early retired life together is as full as possible. And we have traveled as far as we possibly can. But now it's time for a more individual challenge, which is just down to me, which explains why Jackie's not with me this morning. So as I said in the introduction, I'm about to embark on an 80 mile trail walk along the Dales Way in the Yorkshire Dales. It's something that I've never done before and it's something that I've always wanted to do and I thought it was an ideal time now that I'm early retired to bring a little bit more challenge into my own personal life. Let's have a look at some of the reasons why it's important to keep some challenge in your life even when you are early retired. As we get older, it's really important for us to keep our mental sharpness and our cognitive challenge. Quite often when we're working, we, our minds are constantly busy, we are problem solving all the time, we are interacting with people all the time, and that doesn't necessarily happen in the same amount when we are early retired. And one of the things that I'm conscious of, because my mum is suffering from dementia at the moment, is making sure that I don't suffer from any undue cognitive decline as I get older. The second reason we wanna take on challenges is it gives us a real sense of fulfillment and it's not just being successful in meeting a challenge, it's the process that you go along, along the way and actually the outcome is probably pretty irrelevant. So as part of my early retirement, what I do is I set myself annual goals and this was one of my annual goals for 2024 that I wanted to complete the Dales Way. A little bit of background, I bumped into a through hiker when we were in America last year. Hippie, what a legend he was, and he just seemed to have the most perfect philosophy on life. And I did a little bit more research on through hiking in America and there's no way that I could do any super long distance stuff, but I just thought that 2024 was the year that I could dip my toe in the water. So an 80 mile trek for me is a big old thing. Um, I've not done anything like this before, the prospect of doing such a challenge is really quite exciting. There's an element of you know being on edge, and I'll be really honest with you, over the course of the last few days, as I've got closer and closer to departure date, I'm becoming a little bit more anxious about that. But challenges give us all the reason to get out of bed in the morning. If you've seen any of our videos before, you will know that as ex-teachers, we are massive believers in lifelong learning. And any challenge that we take on is gonna push us to the edge of our comfort zone because by the nature of a challenge, it's a little bit uncomfortable. We are stepping into the unknown, but we are using all of those skills that we've used throughout our lives in a really refreshing way because we're not working towards other people's goals, we are entirely focused on what we wanna develop within ourselves. And as part of this trek, I know it's not gonna be an easy thing. I am a little bit anxious about the daily mileage that I've gotta do, but by taking part and completing this challenge, I know I'm gonna learn so much more than I previously knew. So for example, it might be skills, it might be my camping skills, it might be my cooking skills on the road, or I think I'm gonna learn a lot about my because I've got that long period of solitude where I'm just out there on the road, it's just me, my rucksack, my tent, and 80 miles to complete. Challenges are so, so important in building resilience in individuals. And for me, that's really, really important in early retirement. The working environment naturally built resilience because you were every day doing things that perhaps you didn't want to do or you felt a little bit uncomfortable about or were a little bit challenging. Whereas I think it's probably too easy sometimes when you are master of your own destiny in early retirement and you could perhaps shy away from that. I 
love the work that Andrew Huberman is doing on building resilience and there is so much brain science to show that when we put ourselves outside our comfort zone there are actual uh, physiological changes that occur in our brain that make us become more comfortable at being uncomfortable and the more we do that the more our mental health improves and also our brain physiology which can only be a good thing as we're getting older. We all want joy in our life and joy is just one way that we can enhance our overall well-being and challenges provide us with that opportunity for growth, for connections with other people and for that joy. I am really looking forward to getting out into the places that I love because the walk is not actually that far from home and it is going through some of the places that I have got the happiest memories of and I'm really looking forward to revisiting those. I'm really looking forward to spending time living and sleeping in the outdoors and I'm really looking forward to just slowing down life a little bit to the things that for me are going to be really important over the next few days which is simply going to be walking eating, sleeping, and then repeating that process. And the simplicity of that is something that I am really looking forward to. When Jackie and I sat down at the start of the year to set our 2024 annual goals, one of the things that we said that we absolutely wanted to do was to maintain our personal identity. We are absolutely loving our time in early retirement and we are feeling blessed every single day for the amount of time that we have with each other. But we've also realised that it's really important for us to pursue our own interests and to have a little bit of time away where we focus more on what we want to do. This is something that I absolutely want to do. Ironically, Jackie is way more experienced in this than me. She did her Duke of Edinburgh bronze, silver and gold expeditions. So she's done all of this before, whereas I've never really had the opportunity to go on a long distance trek. So as well as having joint early retirement goals on an annual basis, I think it's really important and that's why I'm doing this challenge to just make sure that I can keep some of my own personal identity within our early retired life that we have together. It's not all about the Dales way, obviously. In terms of documenting it, I'm hoping to make a feature out of it and hopefully if all things go well, I should have it all edited up and ready for you to see in our next video. The title of this video was about how you can bring challenge into your early retirement life. And we are very early on our journey of early retirement, but one of the things that we are absolutely certain of is that we want to keep challenging ourselves. And throughout this whole planning process, it's not been scary, it's really been quite exciting and I just can't wait to get on with it. So have a think about what you'd like to bring into your life in terms of challenging you in your retirement and uh, just get on with it. So that's it. See you later.